What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks. I'm Donnie Rollins. That's Joe Aguilar. And thank up? you guys for joining us here on this night. Saturday edition. night. Saturday night. <laughs> Saturday, 8 p.m. Central Standard. Guys, thank you for joining us. I'm excited to be here. Excited to uh, run some breaks with you guys. We got a bunch of the St. Patrick's Day stuff posted. Pre-filled a couple boxes, so we are very appreciative of your support thus far. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in to UltimateAutographs.com and joining us here in the UA Live Breaks. Let's rock and roll! First thing we're going to do is the first thing we always do and get into our dice roll. we got to get our... Um, uh, the number of times we're going to go random every time we run a divisional break. So we're going to roll random X amount of times. We're going to get our, our random NFL divisions assigned. And this is the dice roll that determines how many times we spin our randomizer. Here we go. It's got to be a six or higher. Two, not good enough. Five, not good enough. Five again, not good enough. <laughs> Two again. Why? You're over four? Six. Okay, oh, good. Oh. Thank God we finally got there. Took me long enough. Six times on our randomizer every time we spin that randomizer around. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a jersey first. Let's run St. Pat's jersey number one. We got all the names locked in. Boxes are ready to go. Uh, my dad got me a PS5 and it's working well. There you go, Gabriel. Congrats. That's awesome. Um, well, we gotta put this chat up here on my end. What's everybody doing? What's everybody doing this on this fine Saturday night? Beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. You know what we were doing? Well, we're we are grinding. We that's what we're we grinding. do here. We're grinding. Uh, Jason Spencer says, "What is up, Donnie? I did not get a call from Shane yet from Pro Framing for my jersey I won on Wednesday." Jason, do me a favor and email customer service at ultimateautographs.com. I don't know a ton about the uh, ordeal with with Pro Framing as of right now, so I don't want to make any promises I cannot, you know, keep on my end. What's up, Carlos? Let's do our first break of the night. Let's get right into it. We got a jersey. We got a jersey break. We got Anthony Luigi. We got Tanner. We got William, Chris Stanhope, and Joseph Burke. You guys would like to give us a box number for St. Pat's jersey break number one? Let's go. Luigi says, "Let's go." Two hundred coins. Luigi's got high ex <laughs> high oh, high expectations for tonight. I gotta go back. Give me one sec as I look up. I hit the dice roller seven times. Joe, a little teaching moment for you. Got gotcha. you. Watch this. So if what you ever you there? if you ever hit the dice roller one too many times. You go back to the YouTube page. You can pull up the YouTube on our screen so everybody can see it. And uh, you go to the spot where it's at six times on the dice roll. Make that big. It's right there. Bang. You guys see that? We have William Lindahl, Tanner Wilson, Chris Stanhope, Joseph Burke, Anthony L. This was our six times on the dice roll there. And then I'm going to type those names in uh, manually. If that's the correct order it should be in. All righty. So there you go. So we got William. Does that make sense, Joe? Yeah. You have to show it to him. There. Happens yeah. once in a while. I know. Unfortunately. But that's the correct way to, to fix it, I guess. Mm -hmm. The honorable way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we already got uh, two jerseys sold out. We've got three mixers sold out. Okay. And halfway to filling out jersey three. And once we fill out mixer four, we're going to make mixer five a double. See how that goes. We got our C and double. That's wide open. No, we got actually one spot taken in C and double. So. 42 of 50. Let's rock and roll. Thank you for calling out the box numbers, guys. <laughs> box numbers always helps us. Helps keep the show a little bit more streamlined. We can just keep cracking boxes. But we got to sit around and talk about nothing. Not a ton going on in the sports world. It's kind of a downtime. It's like yeah. regular season NBA, no NFL, no Major League Baseball yet. What's up, Gabriel? Here we go. One gold coin in this box. One gold coin in this box in our... Jersey is an AFC South pull going to the first ever, first ever drafted Jacksonville Jaguar. The first Jacksonville Jaguars draft pick of all time. I know it is. He is an all 90s uh, or 90s all decade team. Tony Baselli. Oak tackle. He was great. They had a, did not have a 
I think he's probably seven, eight years in the league. Yes, he's south. I Going to the I said it before. I think he will be in the Hall of Fame someday. You think so? I think so. I think he might just have to wait a while. But he was dominant. It's it's hard to make a claim for a, an offensive lineman to make it over skill position players. Yeah, because but we, but we have like players. a left tackle though. I mean, that's such a you know, premium position, right? If you're building a team, you want hey, you got to find the quarterback, you got to find your left tackle, you got to find your your rush. Because the left tackle blocks the blind spot, right? Yeah. Cool hit for the Jets. Good start. Pretty cool start. And ten bucks. And ten bucks, right? Don't ever forget about the ten bucks. Huge. Put that up there. Hand out some UA cash for tonight. Ooh, that's what I wanted. There we go. All right. So there goes St. Pat's jersey number one in the books. Good hit. Let's go to St. Pat's mixer. St. Pat's mixer. Dennis, what's going on, Dennis? Guys, quickly, whoa, whoa. quickly before we move yeah. on, All I just right. gotta say this, man. Dennis, we had a great time watching your stream. That it was, was awesome. Fun. It was a lot of fun. I uh, love the shout outs. We appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Um, I was invested, man. I was fully invested. You were. I don't know if I won anything towards the end there. We had to stop and, and stop watching a little bit early. But if I did, you gotta let me know because I was pumped with you, the with the buck with the bucket going around, man. Yeah. If you guys are interested in, in any gold, I mean, no guy knows everything. Dennis Dayton over on YouTube knows everything about it. Yeah, go to YouTube, type in his name. It's uh, it's a little bit different than, than the format here, but it's kind of the same idea, but it's a, it's a different prize. It's a different giveaway. It's yeah. literally gold. It, it was so fun to watch. So and Dennis is very uh, charming and engaging. Yeah, so much. We, we couldn't stop watching. We're trying to get ready for the show. We, 100%. We, we just kept watching. So 100%. Whoop, whoop. Dennis, appreciate it. 42. 42 gone for the jersey. Let's rock and roll into St. Pat's. Mixer number one. We got Luigi. We got Craig. Joe Burke. Jason Marasco, David Sparks, Dave Harris, Justin Schuster says Bears have a lot of money. They're, they're, I heard they're, about this. They're, they're trying. I know they just um, reworked the contacts, uh, contracts for Khalil Mack and Eddie Jackson, and I think it was um, Cody Whitehair, their offensive guard, to uh, give themselves a little more money, a little more money. So they're over the cap, and they got to get down to that like this this week. Yeah. Uh, but all NFL teams, even if you're way over the cap, there's there's a way to restructure deals. You're seeing, mm -hmm. you see it all the time. So even if your team might be in salary cap hell, yeah, they they can navigate that. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if that changes the amount of money they're given or it changes no. their guaranteed money. Yeah, or... they're just trying to. They're they're paying guys like the Bears guys like they're giving their like their salaries for 2021. They're making it bonus money. So there's ways to to work the cap legally. Stuff, um, is, stuff is beyond me. Yeah, but it's, yeah, I'm not, uh, John Boy, our, our guy, Johnny, uh, he would know how to figure that out. Our smart, smart John. Smart, our smart John guy. Of course. All right, let's, uh, like four players took less money. That's awesome. Yeah. That's kind of rare in today's sports world, I feel. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of money driven organization now, I think. Yeah. What's up, Terry? Terry killing with the gold earlier. I was jealous. Right. Five and six. We got box 45 for Mixer number one. What's up, Terry? Terry, good to see you, man. Box 45. So we're going to do a top spot wins break. of 50 coming down to the wire here on this mixer series very very much appreciate you guys helping us out filling up these boxes having some fun here during our st patrick's day mixer and we have ourselves a full size helmet full size helmet let's see what we can pull oh joe headliner pull very very fitting for uh for this series got ourselves a shamrock <laughs> green and gold perfect go irish Joe Theismann. There you go. That's beautiful. Beautiful helmet. Let's find out our winner. 83 uh, MVP. I was just he seeing was, that at one of his, the inscriptions in the back. Yep. Another he was the helmet. 1983 NFL MVP. Pretty cool. There we go. Three, four, five. And our top spot is going to be Jason Marasco. 
Jason Morasco is going to take that. Jason, congrats. Mm -hmm. That's great. That is an awesome hit. Very fitting for our St. Patrick's Day series. Go Irish. Notre Dame. Fighting Irish. That's cool looking. Speed rep. It's nice. I like that. Didn't pull your name. No problem. No problem. It's not going to be my last time I try. <laughs> now I'm invested. Yeah, right. Now I'm invested. And you know, you got you gotta, you gotta, you to gotta play hard to win. Just like here. Exactly right. Now you got me. Jason. Well done. Nice hit. Congrats. Jason M. Jason, is that your first win with me here in the UA Live Breaks? Mm -mm -mm. All right. Next up, rolling right along. Let's do St. Pat's jersey number two. St. Pat's jersey number two. We got Luigi. We got Quatik Ellis. Quatik is back. Hit his first. Uh, I think last night you won with me the first time. Uh, Rip Marvin Hagler. The pri I heard about that ex boxer, right? Marvin Hagler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Marvin Great Hagler. boxer. Yeah. Uh, just pulled that a glove? No, he just passed away. Oh, he today. did. He did. Marvin Hagler. I don't oh, know a I ton about him. I'm not a I, huge I boxing hear, guy. I didn't hear that. He passed away today. I got the oh I got gosh. the info through my phone. But uh, rest in peace, him. It's a sports legend. I don't know a ton about him. I just know that he. He was a heavyweight, Marvin Hagler. I think. I'm not, I'm not positive on that, but I, I know the name Marvin Hagler. Certainly. Do you? Yeah. Do we have a box number for St. Pat's jersey number two? We got Quatique, north, south, west, north, east for Luigi, east and south. Uh, Tanner Wilson, AFC West for Richard Latt. He died from a bad reaction to the vaccine. Oh, is that right? From the Get COVID, out of here. The COVID vaccine. Justin wow. Schuster says middleweight. Middleweight, thank you. Thank you. Hold on, we got to see that. Wow. Get out of here. How old is Hagler? I mean, he, I'm trying to think. Is he my age or is he older? 66. Yeah, he's, old, he's older. 66. I definitely older. Was he 66? 66. Jeez. He, marvelous Marvin yeah, Hagler there you stopped go. Thomas Hearns in a fight that lasted uh, less than eight minutes. It was so epic. It still lives in boxing lore. Two years later. Um, wow. Two years later, Hagler was so disgusted after losing a decision to Sugar Ray Leonard, stolen, he claimed by the judges, he never fought again. Wow, I didn't know that. One of the great middleweights in boxing history, Hagler died Saturday at 66. I'm so sorry to make a very sad announcement. I'm trying to see. This is a great quote from him. Uh, well, actually, I'll give you a little bit more. Hagler fought 67 times over 14 years as a professional boxer, uh, finishing 62-3-2 with 52 knockouts. Wow. 62 wins out of 67 of fights. He said, if they cut my bald head open, they will find one big boxing glove. <laughs> that's all I am. I live it. Yeah, that's great. Should we have a box number randomized for our jersey break? Wow, 62 wins and 67 attempts. That's fantastic. Wow. Good for him. It's a good nickname, too. Marvelous, Marvelous right? Marvin. It's cool. Charles G said, I saw that fight with Sugar Ray. I feel that he won that fight. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've never heard of this before. 30, 41, seven, six times on the randomizer. We're going to do box 41 for Jersey Break. Numero deuce. Or dos. Dos. Uno dos. Uno dos. Forty-one. Let's do it. Forty-one out of fifty. Here we go. St. Patrick's Day jersey break. Looking for some gold coins in here. Looking for some gold coins to see what we can find. No coins here. JSA COA jersey is. Oh, this is cool. This is a throwback. Hall of Famer class of 1991, Jan Stenerud. Jan Stenerud. Jan Stenerud. That's close enough. Jan Stenerud. Kicker. 
Jan. Jan Stenerud. Yes. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. Kick, how many kickers did you get in the break room? Not many. This is one of very, very few. Garrett pulled him in Jersey one night, maybe a month ago. But I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen any other kicker in the room. I have never seen this one. That's for sure. Man, Joe, I'm happy you helped me out with the name. Man. <laughs> that was way off. Jan Stenerud. Yeah, I, I have Jan Stenerud football cards from the, from the 70s. Do you? Yeah. Was he like the... You know, the blonde, kind of baldish, kind of that thing. Was he kind of like the personality of like a, maybe a Pat McAfee in terms of kickers? Like he had a little bit of presence, maybe a little bit more well-known? Yeah, I think McAfee is so off, you know, wild and crazy. I don't think that was Jan Stenerud. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty cool hit. There's definitely some history behind that one. Sean Norman said it's definitely one of the greatest. It's one of the greatest boxing controversies of all time. Don King changed the result. Is that right? Wow. Jan Stenerud. Here you go. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Something different. You're right. It's not often we get a guy I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> no. Well, usually. The hockey stuff, I can't. Yeah, well. Speaking that, of that. That's a little different. I was watching a little bit of Blackhawks before I came, Joe. You were tonight? You are going to be impressed with me. I was watching a little bit of the Hawks. Against the Atlanta Thrashers. No, nope, Florida Panthers. Florida Panthers. Joel Quenville. Joel Quenville, head, head coach. He worked, see, you Used know. to be the old Hawks coach. Yes, the, he was the coach of the three cup winning teams in six years. That's right. Florida's a good hockey team. Are they? Yeah. Aaron Eckblad. You got it. See, you know. I know a thing or two, man. You think so, B. Taylor? These UFC fights are pretty good tonight. I was going to try to get home. I know the main events don't start till like 11. I know we got some time before the main events and stuff tonight, but uh, the UFC is, man, so, so popular right now. Every weight division has some notable names. Yeah. So there's a, there's a woman fighter. Her name's Amanda Nunez. She fights out of the 135. Division, I want to say 135 or 145. Yeah. There are no longer any competitors in her weight class. No, nobody. Is that right? Nobody. She has beaten every contender. Wow. She holds two different belts. She beat Ronda Rousey. She beat Holly Holm, the person who beat Ronda Rousey. Then that one. Remember, mm -hmm. remember Ronda Rousey's reign of terror. Yeah. She was stopped by um, Holly Holm in a fight and. Nunez just walked all over. Uh, I mean, both of them. I want to see what fights are tonight. Let me see if I recognize anybody. I just posted Mixer 5, by the way, and that's going to be a double. Cool. Um, and then I'll post Jersey 5 here. Should we make that a double or should we keep that a single? Let's, let's what, do you, what do you say? Let's do a, let's do a I can double. Always, I, can always, I can post a double and a single. Let's, let's do a double. Two. I'm going to do a double, so we'll make five. Uh, Jersey, Jersey 5 will make it a double? Yep. Cool. What do we got tonight? UFC. Let's get a box number for the mixer, too. What do we do for the first one? 45? We can randomize here. Got a lot of stuff pre-filled, so I'd like to randomize and... Get some boxes going. Keep the show on the road here. I'm just going to randomize this one. Joe Burke, never mind. Got me. Thank you, Joe. Joe Burke, 42. You the man. Ronda was so good looking when she was all dialed up, but when the makeup came off. Oh, man. <laughs> 42. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who's got knocked out? Somebody got knocked out? 42. Um, hey, it's me, Derek. How long does it take to get certified for UA Cash 1 from the coins, including the breaks? Great question. Uh, we will be sending out a week after the breaks are over. A week after the breaks are over. Here we go. Oh, Joe, you're going to love this one. Joe, I'm going to need some help big time on this. I know the name. You got hockey? It's recognizable. We have an autographed Timu Salani. Ooh. Timu Salani. I saw that a few weeks ago. I'm like, Donnie, you got a Timu Salani photo in the back here. It's like buried. 
I'm like, that is cool, but you knew who he was. I know, I knew he's a hockey player. I recognized the name. Um, I probably couldn't tell you a ton about him. I know he's a household name, which is good. Uh, five, and our top spot, who's going to take it? It is Joseph Burke. Joseph Burke autographed Timu Solani. Eight, Pro, it's actually an Prolific like score. Really, really Prolific. Cool. I think his rookie year, he scored like 70-some goals. Never right. duplicated that, but he was a great goal scorer. Is that right? Yeah. He was. Yeah, I got excited when I saw that. Is he in the league a long time? Yeah, I bet he played, I'm guessing, 10 years plus in the league. Pretty good. Yeah, no, he's. He was just cool. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> No, just right there. Did you find it? There you go. Yeah, you got it. Really cool. Yeah. The Rhino 84 says, the finish flash. That's it, the finish flash. Thank you. 15 years. 15. Yeah, okay. Pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. Timu Salani. Pretty, pretty cool. Timu Salani. Very cool. Uh, Sean Norman wants to see a double jersey. Sean, I think we did post a double jersey. Uh, actually, the double jersey is going up uh, in 10 seconds. There you go. Thank you, Sean. Uh, we got to do... So we have St. Pat's jersey 4. looks like it's green. How about St. Pat's jersey 3? Um, let me look here. Go ahead. Get caught up. I'll do mixer number 3. Yeah, jersey jersey 3, I think, had one spot vacant uh, when I last checked, like about five minutes ago. So let me okay. see what's come in, in the last five years. Cool. No problem. Let's run another mixer. Let's run another mixer. I like these. These are my favorite style of breaks. Just because the randomness, the fun that come out of here. Uh, we just did number 42. So we have 43, 44, 46, 47. Yeah, Dennis, I agree. I like his signature a lot. I think it's cool. It's uh, it's, it's also a signature we don't see very often. Never see Timu Mulani. Timu Mulani. No, I... Right? Ever. I know we don't have any pucks. Why not? So. Oh, heavy box. That's good. Uh, Fraunheiser. Are you in the break? So I may not have mentioned this, but uh, if you are in the break, you are more than welcome to call out box numbers. If you are not, we ask that you... Um, yeah, we, we just like to delegate... The box calling to the guys in the break. But I appreciate you calling out box numbers. If 47 is cool, I already gave the hint away that it was heavy. <laughs> Somebody in the break want to let us know. So I may not have told you that before because I know that, uh... Man. Okay. Derek Pitch says, let's do it. Derek, thank you, man. 47. 47. Yeah, it's a helmet. Full size helmet box. Full size helmet box. Let's see what we got. How awesome is this? This is a super super high end item. We have a JSA COA, and our hit is going to be a Jacksonville Jaguars. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Riddell Camo, Maurice Jones, Drew, Pocket Hercules inscription. That's fire right there. That's fire. Let's see who's going to win. Let's see who's going to take it home. Remember, our top spot wins on these breaks. Four, five, and six. We have Derek Pitch. There he is. Derek says, let's do it. He said, don't. He just said, do not change that box number. Derek Pitch, you got it, man. Congrats on the awesome hit. Maurice Jones drew camouflage. Riddell speed replica. That's fire right there. Derek, congrats, dude. What's up, Joey? We're doing good, man. How are you? 
We're doing better now. We know that the Bears are restructuring contracts to make a little bit of cap room. Yes. Making a little bit of space. For who, Joe? For who? Is it Allen Robinson? Maybe. Or quarterback. I just, I don't know. I just can't get my hopes up about that or anymore. tackle. Unless <laughs> they draft one. An offensive lineman, yeah. I think the Bears have to draft offensive line this year. I agree. Totally agree. All right. Is St. Patrick's Jersey the last thing we have full, Joe, as of right now? Um, I'm going to check on Jersey 3 there. A lot of okay. words are coming in for those two doubles. Awesome. You gotta check. Is Jersey 3, can you check the real oh, quick? Oh, Derek, you stud. I'm sorry. Can you real check, check real quick? Is, is Jersey 3 sold out? Is that showing sold out on the website, or do we still have one spot left? Jersey 3 is sold out. It is. Okay, let me find that. Jersey 3 sold out. We also sold out the double break for the mixer. And four spots left in Jersey break number five, which is another double box break. Thanks, guys. Got that trout. Such a beauty. I love it. On the way to get graded, Derek, you got to let me know what that comes when you get it, when it, when it, when it, uh, when it grades. Let me check on Jersey three. Awesome. Let's go. That was a big card. That was awesome. Hopefully, it grades well for you. Wait, what? Which route did you go? Did you go Becky? Did you go PSA? Personally, of the thicker cards, I think it came out of tier one. I would have went with Beckett on that. I think a little bit thicker card stock, a little bit thicker material in the card. You always want to go Beckett, in my opinion. PSA is harsh on those cards. St. Patch Jersey 4. Let's go. Let's get a box number. Let's go. Let's go. Good, good call, Derek. Love that. Let's see what jersey boxes we have. Uh, 37, 38, 40, 43, 44, 45. Dennis, Dennis got the AFC West. Looking for the gold mining 49ers. 43. 43. 43. Let's think so. I don't know why I always forget that right away. Yeah, you did. All right, Dennis. Here we go. 43 of 50. <laughs> Here we go. 43. And we have no gold coins here. No gold on this one. See our jersey. It is going to the AFC South. We got a Houston Oiler. Beautiful hit. I love this colorway on these jerseys. The red with that baby blue. It just really looks good. It is Warren Moon. Warren Moon. They say. That goes to the AFC South. Christopher Castleman. Antonio Marks, Anthony Marksberry says, how do I get it on the box break and how much do they run? Anthony, great question. A couple, couple good questions there. So first thing I can tell you is head over to ultimateautographs.com and check out our UA Live Breaks tab. That is where we have all our breaks listed. How much do they run? Right now we have jersey breaks for 23 bucks. We have mixers for twenty-two fifty, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. And then we have uh, seeing double full-size helmets. That is 75 per spot. All right. Uh, hey, it's me, Derek. How long did it did it take to get credited for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were saying it's probably gonna be a week after the St. Patrick's Day giveaway is over. One week. Uh, a local guy from my town, Brian Powers, fought the undercard for the Hagler Leonard fight in Vegas. Pretty cool, Sean. There you go. Did he win? <laughs> did he claim victory? Warren Moon autographed Houston Oilers jersey. Got yourself a Hall of Famer, 06. Here you go, Chris. Congrats, dude. Nope, no problem, Derek. You got it. Try to help out as best I can. And he won. There you go. Sean Norman. Nice. Don't try to fight that guy. Oh, it looks like we filled up St. Pat's Jersey 3 now. Yeah. So St. Pat's Jersey 3, we posted two at the same time. St. Pat's Jersey 3 actually filled up before St. Pat's Jersey 4. So what we're going to do is run Jersey 3 first. Seems fitting. Oh, I'm sorry. We're in Jersey 4 first. Did we do um, Jersey 4? We just did Jersey 4. Yeah, now just did. Three now we're going to run Jersey 3. 
Okay, there we go. Joe Burke calling up. Look at Joe Burke calling out box numbers. You guys are studs. Thank you very much. Five and six. All right. Forty. Will White, Will, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Number 44. Uh, Dennis, we did number four, yes. Yes, we did. We just pulled that. It was the Warren Moon. This is Jersey 3 because Jersey 3 filled up after number four had filled. Gold coin, free agent frenzy. Let's go. Big box here. Our hit is going to the... Oh, Joe. Big headliner pull out of our St. Pat's jersey. Khalil Mack. Oh, wow. I didn't even know we had that. Me, me neither. It would have never made the box if I knew we had it. <laughs> Autographed Khalil Mack. Chicago Bears hit. David Fraunheiser. What a beauty. Nice. Man. Congrats, David. Khalil Mack. Beautiful Mack. Beautiful hit. I, I not seen, I've not seen any of his stuff in the back room. You know what? I don't think we've ever had a helmet. I've only seen a few jerseys okay. here. Okay. Congrats, David. David, you also got 10 bucks in UA cash due to a coin and a free agent frenzy card. You will be on the lookout for... You're on the lookout for Chris Carson to the Patriots. Chris Carson to the Pats. Here you go, David. Congrats, man. All right. Looks like St. Pat's Mixer. Sean Norton says Cam Newton to retirement. St. Pat's Mixer number five. The double box break is full. Is that correct, Joe? Uh, let's see. Mixer five, yeah, is ready. That's the double. Okay. So I'm going to post. Did we do Mixer four already? I think, we, I think you did. Did you do Mixer four? One, two. I think we only did three. Let me look on the green sheet. Green. Mixer Ford. No, we didn't. And it's not uh, on your green sheet. So let me... Um, is it full? It is full. Okay. Let's do Mixer Four and then we'll run five. Cool. Okay, there you go. Mixer Four is ready. Thanks, Joe. All right, we got St. Pat's Mixer Four. Derek, Michael, Mitch, David, Chad, Dennis, William White, Joseph Burke. Uh, what do we do last? We got, we got 43, 44, 46. 43, 44, 46. Some newbies in here that don't know about the special cards. Dennis, absolutely. I will do the uh, free agent frenzy breakdown in a little while. You are correct, my man. You are correct. I got to do that. Will White. Thank you, Will. You think old Coach Pete C will part ways with Chris Carson? I do. Yeah. I don't I don't know. For some reason, 
Pete Carroll doesn't strike me as someone who has like dramatic ties to his players. Is that weird to say? Yeah. Yeah. Forty-four. Like he should have, he should be fighting hard for Russ publicly. Right. Did we did we hear today earlier that uh, they're renegotiating his deal, trying to restru- reworking his yeah, deal, trying to restructure? Yeah. yeah. Bastard. Dennis says there's only nine people in this break. Then he is correct. Joey, maybe wait, missing. wait, wait. Maybe. I, on mixer, uh, mixer four. Maybe oh, missing. right. You're good catch, Dennis, my brother. Man, guy does it all. Let me see that. Um, Want me to try? Let me pull it up here. Mixer four. It's filled. Mm-hmm. I just got to find the missing uh, the missing order here. It'll take a second. Although with ten spots, <laughs> it's a lot that we threw. 162. Hold on. Hmm. I think I found it. I found it. Cool. Good catch. Good editor. <laughs> All right. So we got Safe Hats Mixer 4 is ready to rock and roll. Let's get that last name in there, and we will do that. Derek Garcia says, want to do another Octo tonight? If we have the product, yeah, we can try it. Let's do an Octo seeing double. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me paste this in here. A seeing double octo. Seeing double octo. So that'll be... A million dollars, pretty much a spot. 600 per spot. You get eight chances at high-end helmet. 600 bucks per All spot. Right, mixer four is ready. That's the octo we'll run. You guys think we can fill it? No. <laughs> Joe shot it down immediately. <laughs> Joe, you're not paying for it. 600 if per spot. If we get eight yeses, then we're doing it. Imagine that. Sing double octo. Can you imagine that? It's insane. I dropped the mic moment. Uh, I can do it. Derek Garcia's in. Love it. Love the enthusiasm. This is a pretty cool helmet. I like it. We got a full size helmet in this. Pre- Ooh, oh man. We got a JSA COA. And we have a Mel Renfro Oregon Ducks helmet. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This is like Oregon. D- and a bunch of coins. Bunch of coins, huh? See how many we got. Mel Renfro. Sean Norman is, is still not giving it up on the whole Cam Newton thing. Just still going at it. He's almost talking to himself at this point. We're going to draft a QB. I love his intensity. Right. Straight up. Straight up draft a QB. Mel Renfro. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four gold coins. Four gold coins and a Mel Renfro University of Oregon who are the coolest school in the nation in terms of swag. Right. One QB currently better than Newton. A lot. A lot of them. <laughs> Five and six, our top spot is Mitch Black. Mitch, congrats. There you go. That's a really cool helmet. Mitch Black. And he's getting 40 bucks in UA cash. There you go. And... A free agent frenzy. <laughs> Cam Newton. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean, you killed me. Uh, Dak Prescott to the Dolphins. Well. Never know. You never know what can happen in free agency. Now let's, let's post, uh, let's see, Jersey 5. How are we doing on that? Let me see that. Oh, we have nothing up there. Let me, what's going on here? Dak is going to South Beach. Mitch, there you go. Congrats, dude. And 40 bucks in cash. 40 bucks in UA cash for you. Mm. 
to the Jersey Five in a second. Take your time, Joe. Take your time. He f we f flew through those first couple St. Pat's mixers. I've only got two boxes left here in the room. I'm going to grab both of those for our double box break for St. Pat's mixer number five. Let's go, man. We're flying. We are. Flying, Joe. We're only 40 minutes in. Cruising. Cruising altitude. Let's go. We got 43 and 46. 46. 43. Here we go. All right. Our item is a. Oh, Joe. We got. This is an awesome hit. Someone is going to be very happy. Uh, even I know this guy, Joe. Steve Eiserman. There we go. Steve the, Eiserman autograph. The oh, there Detroit it is. Detroit Red Wings jersey. Beautiful. Let's see who's going to take it. Stevie Y. Stevie Y. One of the best captains in the history of the National Hockey League. One of the best players in the history. Of the NHL. Now you knew, you know Steve Eiserman. And our winner is Ty Briscoe. Ty. Ty Briscoe. Wow, bro. Joe is salivating. That is cool. At that one. Even a, one of those guys like you know, even Blackhawks fans would root Steve for Steve Eiserman. I mean that you know you know that kind of thing. Even though he's like he was on the rival team, the hated Red Wings for the Blackhawks. Sure. Mad props for Steve Eiserman. Very cool. Let's post um, Jersey 6. Let's make it a double again. You guys good for that? Do it up, Joe. Let's do it. The world is your oyster. Do that hockey thing. Do that hockey. Do that hockey. You do that hockey. Time to do that hockey. You should do that. You ever seen uh, the Chance the Rapper yeah, thing? Yeah, that's, oh, that, that was a that's hilarious skit. By the way, the guy that he, that he was wearing the jersey, like S-K-E-I-G or something, that's Brady Shea. So you say that? Yeah, it's pretty shade. Yeah, it's with Carolina now. Wow. People are like we don't care, Joe, but thanks for, <laughs> for sharing some. Joe, hockey. appreciate the tidbit. <laughs> thanks, Joe. I'll forget that as soon as you mention it. <laughs> Let's see our second item. <laughs> Joe, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate. No, we do appreciate the tidbit, especially about hockey. We don't know. Jack. Jack. Next one. We got a... Wow, look at this. We have ourselves a... Two coins. Two coins. We have ourselves an autographed photo by Dion Sanders. Dion Sanders autographed photo. Show that one off here in a bit. Top spot wins yet again. Deion Sanders. Some fun stuff coming out of this product. I really like it. Four, five. Oh, yeah. Number six, it is Dennis Dayton. Dennis Dayton is taking the Deion Sanders autographed photo. Joe, give me a big ol' whoop woo Dennis, congrats. 20 bucks as well, UA there Cash. You go. 20 bucks in UA Cash for Dennis the Menace. Well, you know, the weather's getting warm. We have a bug flying around in here. Right? Wow. Do we? Yeah, what is like a gnat or something? You tell it's warm in the uh, where we're living here in Chicago. So let's do mixer six. Make that a double again, right? We'll go back to back. I'm good to me, man. Doubles, right? Mm -hmm. The mixer. Be mixer 
six. Yeah, see, like, something in there flying around. Oh, yeah, you're right. I see it. There we go. St. Pat's Mixer 5, a huge success. Steve Eiserman, Deion Sanders, really cool stuff. Yeah. Really cool stuff. We got St. Pat's jersey number 5 full. St. Pat's jersey number 5, we just did box number... I'm going to do for the last one. Thirty-seven, we have thirty-eight, we have forty, and we have forty-five. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, forty, and forty-five. All right, mixer. Yeah, mixers are done. Yeah, we got to go grab more boxes for those mixers. So, we'll have to find out how many we have left. We may only be able to post a couple yeah, let's more. Let's see which we have left here, right? Yeah. 40 45. That's uh, Luigi. Luigi, thank you for calling out the box numbers. Five and six. Forty and forty five. So 37, 38 still available for those. All right, guys, double box break. Right? Double what, box, what, double box break for number five? Mix, mixer five? No, jersey number five. J jersey five is a double, yes. Okay. Is that what you got? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Gold coin. Gold coin, free agent frenzy, our hit. Wow, nice jersey. This is a really cool piece. That is a Raekwon Davis. Raekwon Davis. I'll tell you what, Joe, this jersey is a... You're never going to believe this. But we have ourselves a pretty cool custom Miami Dolphins piece right here. Well, I love the colorway of that. I did not know that was a Dolphins It's like a custom jersey. Wow. Pretty cool. Raekwon Davis. That goes to the AFC East for Anthony Luigi. We have coins? Yeah. We do have coins. Luigi also gets 10 bucks in UA cash. Pretty cool jersey. I like that a lot. All right. Go, Anthony. I like that hit. I think it's different, unique. That's what we like to see. Yeah, different yeah. stuff, unique stuff. Different stuff here tonight. It's really cool because, you know, we run, you guys know, we run 14 breaks a week. We can throw in unique items and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. 
Ooh. Raekwon Davis. And, and you got yourself a free agent frenzy ticket. Free agent frenzy ticket. This could happen. This actually could very much happen. You have got... Chris, Chris Carson to the Seahawks. Chris Carson to the Seahawks. Don't count that out, right? Right. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Second box. We're going to need another whiteboard. That's there we are. Up. We're filling that thing up. That's pretty cool. We are filling that thing up. No more tinkers on our eight box seeing double break. <laughs> we got one guy in. Imagine you can win three or four helmets in that break. Sure. 600 bucks a spot, but you can win four Gary, helmets. That's Gary Campbell money. That's Gary Campbell money. That's right. Next item is, oh, nice jersey. Falcons. This is a Falcons hit. Going to Joey Lopez. Joey Lopez, it is the Dirty Bird himself. Ooh, Running back, Jamal Anderson. Jamal Anderson. Joe, how much UA cash would it take for you to recreate the Dirty Bird dance <laughs> live? Uh, on 8,000 probably. 8,000 UA cash? That would, um, yeah. I would, I would, I'm sure I would uh, sprain uh, something. <laughs> Positive. Come on, you're a hockey guy. Oh, I'm wounded. Many surgeries. Have you? Yeah. From hockey related stuff? Hockey, soccer, wear and tear, yeah. Four four knee, one hip. Derek Garcia said he will donate his ten dollars in UA cash. <laughs> Much appreciated. It's about will, all I'm worth anyway. I will uh, happily, happily donate as much UA cash as I could ever accumulate <laughs> in my tenure here. He said I'm building a nice little collection. That's right, Joey, you are man. Joey, it seems like every time you play with me, you seem to hit something. Can't go wrong with that. Joey Lopez. Yeah, he's been winning a lot. Never a bad thing. All right? Never a bad thing to be winning. Stuff is filling up here. So awesome. that's good. Awesome. Well, we have a quick second. I'll let Joe catch up in the back room here. I will play our free agent frenzy video to get you guys up to speed on what's going on with the free agent frenzy tickets. It's free agent season at Ultimate Autographs. From now until March 17th, look for exclusive free agent cards that will be randomly hidden in various Ultimate Autographs mystery boxes. There are over 60 cards. Each card will include a possible landing spot for the following players. Kenny Galladay, Trent Williams, Dak Prescott, Aaron Jones, Cam Newton, Allen Robinson, Juju Smith-Schuster, Chris Carson, Chris Godwin, and of course, Ryan Fitzpatrick. For example, Dak Prescott could return to Dallas, but he could also land in Miami, Chicago, Indianapolis, or New England. If the predicted team on the card becomes that player's reality, then you will be entered into a top spot break for a signed authentic helmet via a future Ultimate Autographs Platinum Mystery Box. See which card you may land on by purchasing your personal mystery box today at ultimateautographs.com. Awesome. That's our free agent frenzy video. If you guys have any questions about that, please ask away. I'll try my best. That uh, that video was put together by the man Garrett Price. Garrett Price, who uh, you probably won't see in live breaks. He actually lives in Ohio. He lives in uh, Ohio. So yeah. awesome down here. Yeah, he's a good he's a good dude. We like him. He's a huge fantasy football head. He actually runs his own podcast, yes. and he's he's got quite the following. Hold on a second. Justin Schuster said rumor just in. Mac involved in trade for Wilson. What? Now we're going to have to pause the show. Wait a minute. Do you think he's talking about Khalil? Khalil Mac? It'd have to be. I mean, I was hoping we'd have a different Mac on the team. <laughs> I don't Actually, think... there's his brother is... Practice squad? A practice squad guy. But, yeah, I don't think he's has any value. What's up, Jason? Oh, no. Well, that's what it would cost. It would have to cost a lot. Who's reporting it? That's always the key. 
You checking it out, Donnie? I am going to find it right now. Wow, I just saw that Russell Will Russell Cramp in the rib. Drop the phone. Russell Westbrook. 42 points, 12 assists, 10 rebounds tonight in a loss. Another Russell. Yeah. When you said Russell, and I got what? You got Russell Wilson news, but no. I'm trying to find this. I need this. Here's a really fun fact too. Just looking through, uh, looking through Twitter. Karis Levert is starting tonight for the Suns. That's pretty, or starting against the Suns tonight for the Pacers. He had the like the problem with his kidney. He had like a, a growth on the kidney. Oh right, right. He had to have it, um, you know, removed right away. I need to find information about this. Chris Hammer's Platinums will be released very, very, very soon. We can see Platinums as soon as tomorrow. We might be seeing Platinums for tomorrow. Um, we might see Platinums and we could potentially see a new mini. Total Pro Sports. What's total? Is that is that is that good source, Joe? Total Pro Sports? Let's see. I have not heard of them. That doesn't mean they're not total legit. Pro Sports. Uh-oh. Jersey 6 and uh, Mixer 6 just sold out. Thank you. So we'll get those ready for Donnie. I go get more boxes. Are those both doubles? They're both doubles. Okay, we'll do the jersey first. I have two in here. Okay. Let me get that ready for you. Oh, my. Is this, there any substance to this? Um, I don't know how. Is that what your, the oh, my is? Uh... Uh, I mean, they're, I'm just kind of scrolling through it, but... So Bears fans may scoff, but if parting ways with Mac meant bringing Russell Wilson to the Windy City, do you really think Pace and most of Chicago wouldn't pull the trigger? Freshly 30, the ferocious edge runner could still have half a decade of Pro Bowl production in the tank, but that's also why he brings so much value to trade. Seattle would assuredly embrace a talent of his caliper for transitioning defense, while Chicago would save more than $75 million from 2022 to 2024 by unloading his mega contract. Wow. Yeah. And to be honest, Joe, that's probably one of the only ways this gets done. I agree. I mean, you'd have to give more than just... I mean, it could be Mack and, heaven forbid, three number one picks because the Bears, it's not like they're just a quarterback away. Yeah. They have other holes. Yeah. Uh, and they don't have a ton of draft picks to address everything. So if you, you, you're giving away first-round picks the next three years and Khalil Mack for Russell Wilson... I know we're quarterback starved and we have been forever, but we don't have to rush and get one now. I mean, at some point, and collect, you know, I don't know. And we're still not going to win. <laughs> That's the fear. So Jersey Six is ready for you. Cool, doing Jersey Six now. Re the list has been randomized. Let me go grab our two boxes. Then we'll get so a couple more posted. Awesome, you know. Don't hurt yourself there. All right, here we go. 37 and 38. All right, here we go. 37 out of 52 coins. Two gold coins. And the jersey, Chad Johnson. AFC North, the Cincinnati 
Bengals. Who's got the FC North? It's Derek Garcia. That's Derek. And two gold coins. We'll just go, let's pull some more doubles, huh? I double like jersey, that. double mixer. Is that cool? I'm going to make sure we have enough boxes. On the mixer or the? Yeah, on the mixer. On the mixer. Okay, let's hold off for a second. And then how are we doing? We have, we have ample jerseys, or we're running low, too, on those? Yeah, jerseys are running low, too. We do have complete jerseys that we could do, too. Okay. And then we have a backup on the jerseys. We may just finish off the St. Patrick's Day for tonight and uh, wait for the Gare Bear and Chris tomorrow at the afternoon. Derek, congrats, man. 20 bucks you weigh cash as well with your hit, AFC North. So we'll do these breaks, and then we'll do a little inventory check, huh? Yeah, don't want to oversell on those. Right. That would not be good. 38. Not ideal. Not ideal. 38, here we go. Wow, look at all the coins on this one. Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The winner of this box will also get $100 wow, in UA it. cash. Mm. It is going to the Green Bay Packers. It is the man, the deep threat, longest yards per catch this season. It is Marquez Valdez Scantling for the pack. Going to Joseph Burke. Joseph snags the jersey and a hundred bucks in UA cash. Let's go, Joseph. There we go. Love to see it. Joe Burke. Joseph Burke. Joseph Burke. Oh, there we go, Joe B. Congrats, Joe. Congrats, Joseph. MVS, deep threat for the pack. Finally coming to life. Was well, a little bit slow. He's actually one of our uh, exclusive athletes at UA. So we do signings with him every year. I did not know that. 100 bucks, too. That's awesome. That's a great, great pull. And again, you could use that for a retail anything. purchase too. Like you could, you know, you see anything retail that you want to buy, just add that. I mean, that's exactly. it's awesome. Let me go see these boxes, Joe. Right, let's see what we got in the back, and then we'll do uh, mixer six. Yeah, you guys are. Uh, Doing great. We we appreciate you buying the spots. We got we still got those seeing doubles too. We got three in the room here. We got more in the back. Uh, just one spot taken there. So in the interim, uh, I know the, the website right now is pretty empty. But as soon as we get an answer here, we will um, we'll post something. Mixers, so we can do one more single box break on okay. St. Patrick's Day mixers. Three more mixers total, then we're done. And right? that series is done. Okay, we'll post a single and a double. But I thought we are we already filled up the St. Pat's mixer double. Right. So we right. can only post one more. We I mean we got right, right, a single and a double, I'm saying. Is that what you, is that what you're saying? So we can do two more of those with this break, number six. Oh, I got you. I got left. you. So we only have one more. I got you. Alrighty. Awesome. We got right, so I'll post a single. There you go. That's our last one. Okay. For the mixer. Exactly right. And you can post another double jersey as well. We have enough jerseys. Oh, okay. Would you bring more in or but we got some? No, I will go check. I don't know how many we have left after this. 
And then we'll post our Octo Seeing Double Platinum Helmet Break. Or, uh, full-size helmet break. All right. Do we have two boxes here? Do we have two boxes? All right, Joe Burke, you're the man. 49 and 50. 49 and 50. Joe Burke, he said his son's a huge Packer fan. He just won the MVS. You, you That's a awesome. Packers fan? Yeah. Great. There you go. Very cool. 49. Okay, Mixer 7 is up here. Single box. Single box. That's the last one. Let's see what we got. Oh, how cool is this, Joe? Mixer 6. This is a great item. This is the Big Hurt. Oh, there you go. Frank Thomas. Autographed Chicago White's custom jersey. Chicago White socks. Custom jersey. Pretty cool. Frank Thomas got that red trim. Mm -hmm. Kind of like their throwback style jersey. Yeah, right. A little old school jersey. Yeah, yeah. This goes That's to cool. a top spot winner. Three, four, five, six. Top spot, Mr. Dave Harris. Mr. Dave Harris is going to take the Frank Thomas jersey. Dave, congrats, dude. That's an awesome, awesome item. Yeah. White Sox fans, he is royalty. Yes. In the White Sox organization. We'll pull the double jerseys, like you said? Yes, sir. New double jersey. Yes, sir. How many jerseys we got back for the same pass? Uh, I will go check. I didn't take a number down. Okay. We'll go look that. Let's do our second of two. Dave, awesome item. Congrats, man. That's really cool. The Big Hurt. You remember when he had the Big Hurt's bar in, or the tavern? You ever yeah, yeah. It was never there, but yeah. It closed down. It was near my old house. Oh, okay. I used to live in the area. I never went there. I was never old enough to go in. Yeah, okay, right. 21 and old. Like, yeah, wait a minute. You're only 25 here, so. Yeah. <laughs> Back at COA, this is an awesome pull. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. We have ourselves a Cowboys. It is a Riddell Amp full-size helmet. Look at that big old Cowboys decal on the side. Tony Dorsett. Wow. How beautiful is that? Oh, that's gorgeous. Tie down to Dave. Let's find our top spot winner. <whistles> bum, 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 bum. Three, four, five. Our top spot is David Fraunheiser. David, congrats, man. That's amazing. Another win. David, well done. Hey, Dave, you also got some coins in that box, too. Didn't even see those. Congrats, David. Coins in there? Some coins in there. We got Tony Dorsett, Amp, and two coins. 20 bucks. Right, works. It's almost a, a Jersey spot. Yeah, it is. Our last box for the mixer, man. That was fun. It was 150 boxes total. Yep. Well, yeah, we still got some jerseys, yep. but it was 50 of the mixer boxes. Yep. 50 minis that we plowed yeah, through quickly. Right. David, thank you, man. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you. Okay, so on the website, uh, jersey number seven, sing, uh, double box break is up there. And then the final mixer series, 
seven, so three spots already taken in that. Let me go grab the last of those jerseys. So we got one more mixer that's ready to go. Um, and Mitch Black, he said, when do they add the UA cash? Mitch, we add the UA cash one week after the St. Pat's promos are done, my man. One week after the St. Pat's promos are finished. We have all of them tallied, so no one is going to get missed. All right. Grab a couple jerseys for you. Okay. To go. Five jerseys. That's it. That is it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, you know what's something that always intrigued me, interested me. I always wanted to learn more about the Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla. Bonilla? Bobby Bonilla. Bobby Bonilla's Contract? New York Mets deal. It is the most outrageous deal in sports history. It is. If you guys don't know, let me read through yeah, this. You got it. Did you find it? I found it on, on, on Bleacher Report. All right, here we go. Um, This is the most outrageous thing. Bobby Bonilla... Signed a four-year deal, $23.3 million, with the then Florida Marlins prior to the 1997 campaign, but found himself back on the Mets in 1999. After an uneventful time with the team, he was placed on waivers before the 2000 season, but not before the Mets did something ridiculously stupid. You see, at the time, Bonilla had a 5.9 remaining on his contract. He had $5.9 million remaining on his contract. Instead, <laughs> instead of just dealing with it in one fell swoop, the Mets agreed to pay it out by deferring the money. That is, it gets better. It gets better. Yes. <clears throat> he, all he had to do was collect $5.9 million for the Mets, and they would have been done with him forever. As a result, by deferring the money, starting on July 1st of last year, so this was written uh, quite some time ago, and on every July 1st until 2035. 2035. 2035. Every year until 2035, the Mets will pay Bonilla an annual amount of $1.193 million a year. So how, how many years? When did, when did he sign that? Or when did they agree to do that, the Mets? What year? <laughs> Two. 1990 what? Was it 90s? Uh, yeah, 1999. 99. Yes. <coughs> so 36-year contract, basically. Payout, essentially. Not a contract, but a payout. Right? Is that... <laughs> he hasn't played for them since 1999. Yeah, it's it's always a joke every year. Someone makes some kind of funny comment, you know. 
If you're still paying. <laughs> till, till 2035. Bonilla will not be paid by Major League Baseball until he's 72. Thanks to deferred payments from his former employer that heavily backfired on them. After a number of off- and on-field controversies, the Mets decided to part ways with their aging third baseman. But instead of agreeing to pay off the money up front, the Mets decided to defer the payments until 2011 in order to keep the team financially stable for the near future. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what you got to do when he's 72? You got to trot him out there to home plate. Um, Have him given a bat. Yeah, like you know, the White Sox did with Minnie Minoso uh, many, many years ago. Played until like he was, was Minoso in his 60s, I think. This, that is an incredible story. It's fantastic. It really is. Uh, this says... But while this move by the Mets clearly looks like there wasn't much thought put into it, they have their own reasons for agreeing to such a bizarre deal. In essence, there's another subplot to this wild story that suggests it wasn't the team's fault after all. Under the guidance of disgraced business advisor Bernie Madoff, uh, or Madoff, Bernie Madoff. Madoff, the New York Mets officials were under the impression that they were going to make huge returns from investments in the years following Bonilla's departure. That profit would, in turn, go towards paying off the contract. Bad things didn't quite pan out that way. Oh, my gosh. The Mets had fallen into Madoff's infamous Ponzi scheme, which promises investors and suitors higher rates of return with little to no risk involved. As a result of his countless money-making scams, Madoff found himself on the FBI's radar and was thrown behind bars for a 150-year prison sentence. Isn't that awesome? Uh, <laughs> the story, then. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the most entertaining sports stories I could think about every year. Every yes, year. Yes, right? He gets paid $1.2 million. That's a good gig. By the Mets until he's 72. They gotta try, they gotta, <laughs> if he's still living when he's 72, you got to trot him out there. So I just saw so the, the big deal this offseason was Fernando Tatis. Mm-hmm. And he signed a 14-year deal with the Padres. 14. Yes. And uh, the first thing, you go on Twitter, let's talk about the details. The first thing that talks about is Bobby Bonilla will still be getting paid by the Mets <laughs> <laughs> after Fernando Tatis is done. <laughs> that is this amazing to me. Amazing. It, it really is. <laughs> oh, man. I love that. Mixer 7, we will do that in about 30 seconds. Sound awesome. good? Is that full? It is full. Our last one, a single box break. Have him trot out there to receive his last big check. Yeah, you should hand him a huge yeah, check. A bat and a check, or just a check. Um, the Cincinnati Reds still uh, pay Ken Griffey Jr. Do they? Did you know that? I did not know that. Baseball Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr. retired from the MLB in 2010. He played for the Cincinnati Reds between 2000 and 2008. 13-time MLB All-Star will be paid $3.59 million this year by the Reds in deferred salary and will continue to draw a yearly $3.59 million paycheck from the Reds through 2024. Insane. That's hilarious. Okay, Mixer 7 is... uh... Awesome. That's our final one. Yes. Makes for seven. And then we can do Jersey seven. Cool. Is that full? It is. Cool. Let's do our last mixer. Yeah. Let's see what's in this final box, number 48. Let's see what we're missing out on. Last one of 150 boxes. 47? Uh, this will be the last one of 100, and then we've Oh, they're right. We still got the jerseys. Never I didn't, mind. I didn't mean to. No, Correct. you're right. You're right. Yeah, last of the mixers, done with the minis, jerseys left. All right. 40 jerseys left. Okay, Joe, this is an interesting box. Feels very interesting. Top spot with... Oh, man, I love this item. This is one of my favorite items right here. I'm a big fan of this. This is that commemorative 
Jerry Rice autographed football. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cherry Red, signed in silver. Jerry Rice, this is num Jerry Rice, number 27 of 49. All the stats. I love this, man. I love this box. This is fun. Oh, that is really cool looking. Here, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> the winner will also get a free agent frenzy card for Trent Williams to the Cincinnati Bengals. He hasn't been dealt anywhere yet. No, he's, he's still available. He has not been dealt. David um, David said, this stuff is so much fun. David, you're the man. Thank you, man. David, I'm glad you're glad. That's all I can say. We think so, too, but we're biased. Can you believe Bobby Bonilla is still going to make one point? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's, that is amazing. Great fodder. I love that. Three, four, five. Top spot is Dave Harris yet again. Dave, nicely Dang. done. Man. Dave won the Frank Thomas jersey tonight. Yeah. He's also got the autographed Jerry Rice football. Dave Harris, the man. Dave, what's your favorite team? I know you hit the uh, you hit the Frank Thomas said it was up for trade. What's what's your go to team, Dave? You're on mixer six, right? Mixer seven. You're on mixer seven. That's just filled oh, okay. with the last one. So Dave Harris just won mixer seven, the last one. Correct the mundo, sir. And Jersey you, 7 is ready for you. There we go. Do you think that Bobby Bonilla sits around all year and just waits for that $1.5 million, $1. million check for rolling? Honey, are, can we go on that vacation yet? Like, when? The check hasn't come yet. Yeah, it hasn't cleared. Once the check comes down, we can go on vacation. Once it clears, we're gone. <laughs> Dave Harris says, that's awesome. Thanks. I'm a big Philly guy. Okay. Right. Dave Eagles guy. Philadelphia Phillies guy. Um... 76ers? Ooh, Embiid injured. Out two yes. to three weeks with a bruised knee. It looked way yeah, worse. That's not, I was saying, that's not bad. It looked horrible. Yeah. When he went down like that, and that's a big man going down like that. Right. Especially, you know, it looked like he had collided in the air, and who knows, where's that jersey? Is that jersey on the green sheet, Joe? I don't see it. Yeah, jersey, what do we have, jersey seven? I got it. Got it. It was black. Oh, okay. I'll make it green, okay? There you go. All right, there we go. Jersey 7. So let's, uh, let's post Jersey 8. Should we make that a double again? We got. We keep going with the doubles on the jerseys? We got three boxes left. What do you guys think? Should we roll a triple to close the series? You, you guys let us know. Let us know what you guys want to do. Let Single, double, right triple to close it. Whatever you guys now like. We can, do a, we can do a double. And a, we got three left? Three left. We got five left. Oh, we're going to do one now. We're doing a double now. Okay. So, yeah, we can either go triple or double single. Sean Norman says double. Sean's going to take the reins and call out a double. Sean, a double, and we'll also double and a single. Cool? Yeah, we'll see who else wants in. Sean's in. So, we got one in for a double, guys. Let me know. Let's see who else is in for okay. single. Joe, I'm not going to lie. When you and I do shows... I feel like they go by very... Like, it's already 9.30. Yeah, you roll through them. I'm it's already 9.30. You're, you're, it's tough to, I can't even... It's more tough to keep up with Rollins than it is the order. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my goal, Joe. I think I was put on this earth to keep people on their toes. It's funny because you just got a cramp in your wrist. Dude, and, man, like, I'm serious. I should be getting the cramp. I'm serious, like, man. I don't know what <laughs> happened right there. It's better now. But uh, tell you what, brother. That was creeping up on me. Joey Burke says 49.50. Uh, just a heads up, we have two breaks tomorrow. We got Garrett, we got Chris uh, on Sunday. Joe Burke says triple. So we got one in for a double, one in for a triple. I'm thinking, All right. we, I'm thinking we close out the night with a triple. Triple. I like that idea. What do you guys think? It'll be 60, What's the 69 Jersey, Jersey 20, first spot. 23 times. I think it's 29, 69. 69. Joe, let's do the triple. You do it, Donnie, executive. Let's do it. Call him. I like the right, idea. We'll post the, uh, I like the idea. triple for the jersey. JSA COA, it's our final jersey break, too. We have ourselves a Bruce Thomas. Thurman Thomas. Oh, wow. Bruce, any relation there? Any relation? That'd be cool. 
Well, Bruce Thomas, also the name. Uh, how about the sack leader? Uh, Bruce Smith. Bruce Smith. I don't know why. So I got tied up there between Bruce and... That's Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas. I'm sure that's a distant cousin of Bruce. <laughs> Bruce, tell him we said hello. Okay, we found out we have some we have some family ties we in this do, room. We do. We do. Yeah, we Thomas. can't even joke about that. We can. Well, we can't, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, like we're like, ha he's not related to him. Yes, well, like, he is. Yes, actually. he is. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a couple of those. Thurman Thomas. I like that. I like to hit a lot. All right, Jason Jarrett's in for a triple. All right, beautiful. All, All right, right, we'll post it. I'll post it in a minute here. It'll be Jersey. What am I at? Seven. Eight. It'll be eight. eight. Jersey yeah. eight. Jersey ate a triple. 50 of 50. He said that was my dude back in the day. That's very cool. Thurman Thomas, Oklahoma State yeah, guy? I think you were correct. Guy? One gold coin here. One gold coin, and our hit is going to be... Oh, nice. Way, throwing it way back with this one. Hall of Famer, 1993. Rocking at number six. Miami Dolphins. Larry Little. Larry Little. Offensive guard? Yeah, offensive lineman. Oh, we got ourselves... I love these. Love the stat jerseys. Let me see. Let me show that. Yeah, they're cool. Got stats on the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would not have guessed Larry's full name was Lawrence Chapman Little. I thought Larry was. I, did not know, I didn't know Larry was short for anything. Five time Pro Bowl selection. Right. First team All Pro. Five time first team All Pro. Five time Pro wow. Bowl selection. Two time Super Bowl champ. 1970s NFL All Decade team. Pro Football Hall of Fame. 1993. Number 66. Larry Little. It's a really cool jersey. It's cool. I had not seen that either. Did you know we had that? No. I like the stat jerseys. Me too. They are the only thing that stinks about stat jerseys, a little bit difficult to frame because they're a little bit bigger. Yeah. And they're harder to fit in a normal size frame. So what you have to do, actually, is uh, you have to get a custom frame done for stat jerseys. Like by our guy Shane? It would be it would be a custom frame, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't just go to Michael's and... Uh... Like, hey, can you whip up a stat jersey frame for me? Yeah. Like, what? Probably look you like a crazy person. You would need to be escorted out of Michael's. <laughs> you ever been escorted out of a Michael's, Joe? <laughs> Not yet, but uh, I don't really, sh I don't really ever shop at Michael's. Would that be bad or what? Do they? They frame jerseys at Michael's, don't they? They, they do framing, yeah. It's, it's, I think it's crazy expensive. They are expensive. So I've seen at Michael's where it's like a shadow box with a hanger. Have you ever seen that? It's like a jersey frame. It's like a yeah, frame. Yes, yes. But it's like just like a piece of black. It looks like faux wood. Yeah. And then they just hang the jersey hang by a hanger. Jersey. Yeah. Did yeah, you guys do that with your jerseys? It looks, it looks really bad. Do you think it looks bad? Yeah, it looks so bad. So it's just hanging there. So, like, so it's not tacked that it's just on a hanger? Right. In the shadow. It, it literally just hangs there, yeah. That's why you it's spend... It's got some little depth to it, then. You do the investment when you want to look professional, right? You want a frame jersey, you you get it right. done by someone right. who specializes in frame jerseys. Uh, we got, a couple, Baller, we got a couple Chris Carters here. Baller Heaven says, "Come on, Hobby Lobby is legit." Oh yeah, Hobby Lobby frame jersey. They they do. Uh, they do. Yeah, they, they do framing at Hobby Lobby. I feel like Hobby Lobby does everything. They do. Bruce, nice double hit. Nice double hit. All right, let's try to fill up that last jersey break. That's it's a triple. Up there. It's a triple. It's a triple. Triple. Let's see if we got any orders in yet. One second, Joe. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, it was just posted, so that triple should be um, on the website. The triple jersey. Yep, they're cut. All right, you guys saw it. Thank you.
we're feeling it. Epic. He said they have done some custom frames for me, and they're very oh, they're pretty interesting. Jason, what what does a Hobby Lobby frame usually cost? Like, what did that cost you? It's very interesting. You don't have to tell me over the thing. You could. Framing is is expensive. If you get it, want it done yeah. right, you know, it depends if you, know, if you get a mat on it or a double mat. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Around 200 to 250. That is not terrible. 200 to 250, that's not bad at all. Right. Um, so here's a fantastic. We talked a little bit earlier about some crazy contract negotiations. Here's a great one, something we didn't mention. This is ranked number one in Bleacher Report's top 20 ever. I just, I just caught the eye of another one, which is wild. But here we go. So, a soccer player, Cardiff City, English, Premier Soccer, not Premier League, but a couple steps below, Cardiff City. His name is Spencer Pryor, okay? This has to go down as the most ridiculous contract clause of all time, and after what they have already been on the list, this is saying something. Here we go. In 2001, the Cardiff City FC, the best supported soccer team in Wales, signed defender Spencer Pryor to a three-year contract worth seven hundred thousand pounds about 1.1 million dollars nobody will ever know why the following clause was included in the contract by owner sam hammond in order to sign the contract with cardiff city it's a little inappropriate but it's wild can, can you prior it up prior had to eat sheep's testicles that's the word that's exactly the word that says in here which is disgusting and they put this in quotes. I don't know if this is appropriate for us to talk about, but I need, to, I need to say this. It's late. Because it is ridiculous. He needed to have physical liaisons with sheep in order, to, si in order to sign his contract with... Um, in order to sign his contract with Carpenter City. I'm going to leave it there. No comments. That's it. It is the most ridiculous it's contract bizarre. in sports history. Now, the, the, it, the apparently, testicles thing, that's <laughs> actually... Which animal is it? It's a delicacy. It's a bull. I think a bull. Bull. Yes. It's called. Uh, someone will know in the chat. Where are we going with it? <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but it doesn't sound like. Right. It, it doesn't sound bad, but right. that's what it is. All right. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I did not know where that was going. I probably should have pre read that before I read it out loud. Did we tell you we're live here in the. Uh, um, we, can edit, we can edit that in post. Yeah, well. <laughs> For the after hours show, we'll Rocky Mountain that. Oysters. That's it. Was that in the chat? Or did yeah, you know look that? at that. There you go. Who said that? Uh, David and Bruce Thomas. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Apparently, it's a tradition for the players on the team, and it was thought to bring them good luck. This is why I don't play pro soccer. This that, is this that, is why you never reason. went. That's why. This is why I, you never went. Let me lighten the mood. Right Let me lighten the mood a little bit. Let me give you a different one. I which, think it's a light mood already. Which isn't that. very. Um, <laughs> Inappropriate. I apologize about that. Did not pre-read that article first. Um, let's talk well, about hopefully something Hopefully Mr. Else. and Mrs. Rollins are not listening or, to the live break. Right? Or Mr. and Mrs. Solis, the owners of <laughs> yeah, right. Ultimate Autographs. More importantly... Matt, Dave, uh, the, the, the lovely <laughs> counterparts to both of you. Um, let me change the subject. Charlie Kerfeld, Houston Astros. Charlie Kerfeld yeah, helped sure. mm -hmm. leap, lead the Astros to the NLCS as a rookie pitcher in 1986. Uh, as you can see, he certainly knows how to celebrate, and they give a video. During the offseason, the Astros wanted to get another year out of the young pitcher who had gone 11-2 and in the regular season and began negotiating one of the strangest contracts in sports history. Kerfeld asked for $110,000, uh, matching $110,37.37, matching his number 37 jersey, to pitch in 1987. On top of that, he would receive 37 boxes of orange jello in the deal. Unfortunately, the Jello combined with Bush, Bush the beer, 
Proved to be a poor combination as the pitcher battled weight problems and pitched less than 30 innings for the Astros Is in 1987 right? before being sent to the minors. Wow, I remember Charlie Kufeld. <laughs> so he, story, though. he has for $110,037.37. Number, his number 37 and 37 boxes of orange jello. And then he battled weight problems that didn't pitch wow. very much after so that. So orange jello and bush beer. Not the ideal... Uh, <laughs> That is hilarious. Uh, professional athlete. Two spots left in Jersey 8, the triple. Wow, that's insane. Wow. Did you know that Steve Young still gets paid by the Los Angeles Express? Is that right? You know, that, that he was his first team. So... Uh, this is another amazing contract story. We'll read one more, and then we can try to fill this break. Steve Young, coming out of BYU, tried to get pulled away to the USFL, the United States Football yep. League. Uh, they had to pull out all the stops to land the young superstar. They did with a 10-year, $40 million contract to play in the USFL. They didn't have enough money at the time to make that deal. They signed it anyway. So they promised to pay $34.5 million of the deal in the form of an annuity where Young would receive increasing annual payments starting in 1990. Because of the nature of the annuity, Young will continue to get paid until 2027 when he will receive a yearly check for $3.2 million. To add insult to injury, Steve Young wasn't enough to draw sufficient interest to the USFL and the league folded in 1986. So he still gets paid from a team that doesn't exist anymore. Who's paying him? I wonder whose checkbook that comes right, out. Right, right. How much is he getting? Did he say? gets paid $3.2 million a year from now. Wow. Because they signed him to a 10-year, $40 million contract and didn't have $40 million as a team. <laughs> Nuts. What? Two, two spots left in the, in the jersey. That is so interesting to me. Guys, we appreciate your participation here. Being good sports, hanging with us here on a Saturday night. <laughs> it's actually nine forty. It seems later. We seems doesn't, like we go, but right, cooking man. We're cooking. Uh, seven was a. S I think I did two. No, yeah, I did two. I did two. Bruce Thomas won them both. Bruce Thomas won them both. It was uh, Thurman Thomas and it was Larry Little. Is that a panic? Panic take, Joe. Uh, which, which one? Uh, he asked about Jersey 7, a single or a double, but we did open two boxes. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce won them both? Yes. Love this. I love this article. It's so fun. Uh, okay, I got to read this one, too. This is great. <laughs> so, um, Sunderland, another soccer club, signed Stefan Schwartz uh, to a four-year, four million pound contract with Sunderland of the English Premier League in 1999. Occasionally, players get injured performing hobbies like skiing or hunting, so clubs tend to forbid this behavior on contracts. I'm sure Sunderland didn't expect to hear Schwartz's plans for the near future, but they went ahead and prohibited them anyway. Schwartz's contract with Sunderland stipulated that he was not allowed to travel into space while playing for the club. Apparently, Schwartz had expressed a desire to be an astronaut after his playing career, so the club didn't want to take any chances. Wow. His contract would be void if he were to travel into space. <laughs> no space flight that for you, That is hilarious to me. I love this stuff. Wow. This is so interesting. One spot left. One spot left in Jersey 8. The triple header there. I love that. This stuff is like... Fun how stuff. Do you, how do you even work... Like, how do you, how does this even come up in conversation during the deal? I know, right? Greg Maddox needed a one-year membership at the uh, Del Mar Country Club in San Diego when he signed with the Padres. That was yeah, part I, of his contract. I, I believe that. That was part big, of his contract. Big golfer, He is an avid golfer. He knows a really good golfer, John Smoltz. Yes. Very good yes. golfer. Good broadcaster, good golfer. You mentioned Raleigh Fingers earlier. Yeah. Right? 
He got paid 300 bucks to grow out his mustache. Yes. I golfed with Raleigh Fingers once. Did I tell you that story? I think you mentioned it to me, yeah. but not to them. Yeah. In Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, they, they used to have a... Actually, you might remember this. They used to have a celebrity pro tournament. Okay. Uh, a buddy of mine is a PR guy, and yeah, he's a sports, I'm an old sports writer, as Donnie knows. And, uh, so, yeah, we got to play. There's only a handful of celebrities, like one of the Gatlin brothers, and they were out like, to promote it. This tournament they had coming up in the summer, and so me and my buddy and um, another newspaper or a TV lady uh, played with Raleigh Fingers. That's amazing. Super nice guy. Um, Did he have the mustache? Good golfer. He had the mustache. Had, had the handlebar mustache. Was it absolutely. Was it perfect? It was perfect, and that was big because like he knew like that image like you know so he wanted to maintain that. If he didn't have the mustache, would you recognize him? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. Because you're just so... Every baseball card, every pitcher, oh, yeah. every old um, highlights with the A's winning World Series, you see Raleigh Fingers, oh, um, you know, with that handlebar mustache. And so the funny story I have with Raleigh Fingers is he hits out of a uh, bunker, uh, hits the putt to save par, and I go, hey, another save by Fingers. Like, thinking <laughs> I'm being cute and funny. He's like, I don't get paid for these, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think you paid for these. That was probably a blast. Yeah, he was very cool. Did he tell some good stories and stuff while you were guys yeah, playing? Yeah, you know, like how he was, you know, like pretty much like struggling as a pitcher. I think it was Dick Williams was his manager, and they decided, you know, you're going to throw him in the bullpen. Back then, relievers would throw three, four innings sometimes. Not like yep. today where they, one. you know, throw one inning, and, yep. and they're, you know, uh, and they let go like three days a week or something. But so back then, but so yeah, a lot of those stories and. Um, just a real good, good dude. Give me his business card afterward. I still have it. Signed the scorecard, you know. Of course. Um, never called him. I mean, hey, Raleigh, hey, remember me? Aguilar, what's up, bro? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's cool. Though. It's cool. It's cool hey, to it's have his business card. Remember me? Yeah. I mean, his that... business card has, I think, it's like three hundred and some career saves. Really? So he's got the business card in color with the uh, blue and the A's at that kind of yellowish gold. Yeah. Um, and like a cartoonish character himself with his total saves, and then like his three numbers, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's my Raleigh Finger story. Good. Uh, w- one spot left. I love that. One spot left. We can't just like go home. We got to fill that. All right, right, that's it. 46, 47, 48. 60, one spot. 69 dollars. Spot. Sean Norman says, my brother has a warm-up ball given him from John Smoltz when he was a Red Sox player. Oh, That's okay. Cool. That's pretty cool. Man, this chat has been all over the place. This <laughs> this break has been all over the place tonight. Uh, right? All over. I love it, though. From Rocky Mountain Oysters. Exactly. Epic, the cake. To Bobby Bonilla. Uh, to Bobby Bonilla. <laughs> all over the map. To Charlie Kerfelt. Boy, a Charlie Ker- Kerfelt name drop. That was, uh, 30? That was, that was cool. 37 boxes of jello. <laughs> it's epic. Uh. Hmm. One spot left in the jersey. Who's got the closer magic tonight? Who's going to do it? Who's going to close it out? 69 a spot gets you one division for three boxes. Three three shots. Three shots to win uh, a jersey. And that's the last of our St. Patrick's Day giveaway, too. It's pretty cool. 150 yeah, we, boxes. we plowed through those. It was fun. The minis went fast. They did. And that good participation. Now we filled it. Hooray! Thank you, guys. So for tomorrow, we'll have seeing double. We'll have complete jerseys posted. We'll go back to our complete jersey series that we have recently up. Um, we'll have that. Um, and then we'll try to get a platinum posted and then potentially a wooden crate mini helmet. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? Ryan just closed it out. Thanks. Look at, look at you, Ryan. Guys. Bang. Ryan, you are a stud, my friend. Thank you for the close. Every all, all six of you. I think it was everyone bought one. So cool. Thanks for doing that. Jersey eight. I still want to do the octo. <laughs> the octo uh, seeing double. Yep. We got time. It's early. All right, Donnie, you got it. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, how expensive are the platinums? are going to be 53 per spot. 53 per spot. It's our normal price, right, on the platinums? 
Yeah. 53? Yep. Authentics? No, they're all pro lines too, David. If you're familiar with uh, the difference between Authentics and uh, the reps, they're going to be all Authentics helmet, all authentic helmets coming out of that. 5-6. All right, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gents. We're ready to rock. Triple box break. Triple box break. I want to rock. Two coins. Two coins here, and our hit is going to be Bernie Kozar. Bernie Kozar going to the AFC North. Who's got the North? David Fraunheiser. There you go, David. Cool. Bernie Kozar. Quarterback. Good signature. I like that. One of the best signatures. Yeah. He lays it down. And the, on the helmets, too. Yeah. I mean. And 20 bucks. That's the way to do it. You know what? Um, Bernie Kozar is kind of selfish. You cannot get anyone else's autograph on the box or on the helmet when Bernie Kozar signs. <laughs> it's him and only him. Yeah, no, no dual autos on that nope. helmet. <laughs> he right. probably couldn't sign an amp because they'd be like, "Is there a room for you?" <laughs> exactly. He would not be happy with that. Exactly. Like Bernie, can you move it over a little bit, man? <laughs> it's hard to tell professional athletes what to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bernie Kozar. Imagine, like, telling, like, a Lawrence Taylor. Imagine that. Yeah. Like, hey, Lawrence, do you, you mind writing it a little lower? Would you even call him Lawrence, or would you just call him Mr. Taylor? Oh, that's Mr. Taylor. That's Mr. Taylor. That's 100%. Hey, you know, Mr. Mr. Taylor, do you mind writing that just a little bit smaller? This is, we have a dual sign. Could never, could never see it happen. I'll let that man write whatever he wants. He could write the wrong name. And he does. He could write the wrong name. And he does write whatever he wants. He sure does. <laughs> All right, second hit is JSA COA. Jeremy Shockey, Giants. Also played for the Saints in his career. There's a little Dustin Deddy. What's up, Dustin? Dustin, congrats. Nice hit. Jeremy Shockey, Jersey. Dustin. Third and final jersey. Final one in the Pats series. What a fun series. When's the next holiday? Uh, Easter? I believe it's Easter. Easter. Right? April Fool's Day. Dustin says it's been a while. Yeah, sure has, man. Good to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> April Fool's Day, we have an awesome series lined up. Do we? I don't know. Uh, I, I just thought of a really good idea. Oh, for okay. I just thought of a great idea. All right. Do you want to share it? Or? We should do yeah. like a... I don't want to give it away. Okay. I just thought it's genius. I know it's good. Right. It'll work. <laughs> It'll involve a lot of wrong. <laughs> I want to do like a series that like is a well known guy on like the wrong team. Oh. Or like a team that he never like I don't know how we would acquire this stuff, but like maybe a team that he never played for. Or like, like a, a like a Devin Funches. Right. So what one right. it's, a, it's a one series by it's a, it's a one box series. One box series. <laughs> 48. I, it would be cool, like like a series of guys, just fun, like maybe 15 boxes or so. Like maybe a games he played one, 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 one season. There are guys played. like that. I yeah. don't know. I, I want to think of it more. We, well, got, we got a little coin we'll here. Let's see what we got. One coin here. And we have a Keelan Cole Jacksonville Jaguar. Ryan, today your birthday? 20, 37 years young. Ryan, happy birthday, happy man. Happy birthday, man. Got the AFC South for Mr. Sean Norman. Congrats, Sean. Keelan Cole. Sean's our guy. Keelan he knows Cole. tidbits and he loves the Gare Bear. Keelan Cole's a 
good, pretty good wide receiver. He's a good wide receiver. And he'll probably have better numbers next year, I'm assuming, because With he's going to have uh, right. Trevor that's a, Lawrence that's a great likely point. Uh, throwing in passes. Great point. Cool. Sean says, sign the box, boys. All right, we got you, I will Sean. do it, man. Do it for you. I love doing it. It's fun. That's one of my, like, biggest, I don't know, still. Yeah, we were watching Dennis Dayton's podcast earlier tonight, and Dennis has the signed box, but he showed it up on his podcast. He did. He did. Yeah, right next to him. He did. We were so honored. I was. I was honored. That was really That's neat. my name. He had, like, all three of us on there, didn't he? Did. He did. Yeah. Me, you, Garrett, right? It was Garrett, yeah. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Hey, Chris, what is some new series coming out? Chris, we should have, uh, we will repost our complete jerseys for tomorrow. We have Seeing Double. Uh, we also want to post a platinum helmet and potentially a wooden crate helmet for tomorrow. So as soon as we get some stuff done for that series, um, we're excited. We're excited about some more stuff launching, especially for Saturday going into Monday. Uh, guys, this is the last time I'll be with you until Wednesday morning. I'm going out of town. I'll be in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri until Tuesday late. So I won't be in any shows for Sunday Monday or Tuesday. It'll be a lot of Garrett, a lot of Joe, a lot of Chris. Uh, guys, thank you very much for the support for myself. I appreciate it. I'm going to sign it off right there. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend uh, into into next week, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Joey will be here on Monday, Monday I'll be morning. Here Monday, Tuesday for the, the noon yep. central time breaks. Yep. Perfect. Perfect, my man. Uh, you'll be here for both Tuesday, right? Uh, yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So, guys, we'll, be prepared. We'll be prepared. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Yeah. I'm excited about next week. I am uh, Bruce, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I will see you guys on Wednesday with myself. We'll be back here for some more live breaks tomorrow at 2 p.m. with Garrett Campbell and uh, Chris. Chris, thank you very much for helping us out in the back room. We very much appreciate that. And we'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Guys, thank you very much for the support. See you. Thanks, everybody.